get that dirty money clean. Get that dirty money clean. I might have to open up a business to get that dirty money clean. Hey. Cause I've been out here jugging and finessing. I've been jugging. I've been jugging and finessing. I've been jugging, I've been jugging. I've been out here jugging and finessing. I've been jugging. I've been jugging and finessing. Get that dirty money clean, ayy. Dirty, 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 dirty money. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and welcome back to You Thought It Out City. You Thought It Out City. Yep, you thought it. Your girl definitely said it. Today we actually got a mukbang going on. Oh yeah, and to the girl that wrote me and said it's not mukbang, it's mukbang. Girl, it's mukbang, girl. I said what I said. That's what it is. That's what we finna do. We finna eat on this mukbang, okay? To let you know, it's my channel. I eat, I say what I wanna say. You just tune in, all right? Period. Now, today we actually doing a little mukbang, but I just did straight lobster today, y'all. I did sh these huge lobsters because, listen, these lobsters is huge, do you hear me? Look at that. I cut it open because boo boo. Oh, look at all that meat. Oh, I had to cut it open because last time I was having a, a, a time trying to get it out. But anyway, so today we're having these lobsters and we actually have some eggs and we just have some sausage because I actually had a taste for these sausage and this lobster. I can almost taste it in my soul. I felt it in my sleep. It woke me up and said, you know what, Courtney? Go get some of that today. Let these people see you chow down on that today. Okay? So that's what we about to do. Thank y'all so much for tuning in because it is EE -E time. Over. But listen, I got my B-Love sauce, of course. You know, it'd be real thick at the bottom, so I'm trying to stir it in, you know. Because, ooh, that stuff be thick and spicy. Today, I actually did make it spicy. I got my water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to wet my throat. Because I already know it's about to get real, real, real spicy up in here. We're going to start with this sausage only because, ooh, I've been craving this sausage, y'all. I love me a good old beef sausage, okay? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm sorry, I might eat all these sauces just alone, okay? Listen, this sauce is so good, I can't even start by what I'm supposed to be saying. <clears throat> so this is actually some patron y'all this is some patron mixed with a little juice and we'll see if we can eat it <laughs> when your lobster tastes like butter baby you know you did it right if it ain't like butter they don't slide down your throat easy with ease you don't have to chew it, but you inhale it, honey. Then you did it wrong, okay? You did it wrong. Let's go ahead. And... <coughs> oh, that sauce all up and through my throat, y'all. Oh my Jesus, y'all. I got to be at it, man. Mm. <coughs> oh man, listen. Listen, why? Why? Why, Lord? Mm. Put these uh, put these big old lobsters in that ocean for me. 
Yes, you did. I told you so. Look at this sauce. Girl, y'all don't want nothing that did. Yeah, let me put this sauce over here. See if y'all can see it. Let me if I bring it up. Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know what? I want to talk about something today. Y'all know what? Why people always say, <clears throat> people be acting funny when they get married. They be changing when they get married. Ever since so-and-so got married, she done changed. Honey, first and foremost, sweetie, I am different, honey. I am supposed to act as such. You will treat me as such. There's no way. It's okay for you to treat me anything less than a married woman. Because you ain't married. You think it's okay for you to act like it's a problem. That I act like I'm different now that I'm married. First of all, <clears throat> most of us done waited all our lives to get married, okay? Most of us had that um had them picked out our dresses when we were babies. Most of us just knew without a shot of a doubt we was gonna get married. So what you not gonna do? is treat me like I'm some unmarried woman. You gonna treat me as such. I'm somebody's wife. I said what I said. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I am not nobody's girlfriend. I'm somebody's wife. And you, my darling, is going to treat me as such. You're going to call me Mrs. Montgomery. I am no longer Courtney, honey. I am Mrs. Montgomery. I waited all my life for this, and you're going to treat me as such. <laughs> now, if you don't want to do that, then we got a problem. Because when you get married, honey, I'm going to call you Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Wands, whatever your husband's name is, that's what I'm going to call you. I ain't just going to be out here calling you your maiden name, your first name. Well, I'm going to call you your first name, but you get the picture. People ain't acting different because they think they better than you. They acting different because they married they acting different because they is somebody's wife. They don't just represent themselves, honey. They represent the person. They represent the king of the castle. They represent him, the guy that wear the pants. So if that's the case, honey, treat them as such. It ain't that hard. Shoot. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be hating, because I think y'all just be hating, child. Ever since so-and-so got married, child, she don't want to go to the club no more. Honey, married women don't even got no business in no club unless they husband next to them. I mean, you can go to the club every now and then, but you can't make that no lifestyle. You single hoes out here want to buy hawk. Throw that ass in a circle. You know, all that. That's cool and dandy when you're single, baby. You can do that. <coughs> but when you got a, a husband, I mean, a good husband, that take care of home, that makes sure you straight, the bills is paid, that makes sure that y'all live good, that makes sure he ain't making you look stupid out here in these streets. Honey, then you got... <clears throat> To respect that man. 
So if that's the case, that means you can't be throwing that ass in on circuit nobody's club, honey. You might go once a year now. Don't get beside yourself. Can't go every month. Because you got them single little friends out here in the street. That ain't how it go. Mm-mm. That man ain't having that. Mm-mm. So when y'all go to Holland, so-and-so acting like she different. Baby, she is, okay? That is a woman's accomplishment. Now, it's more to life than being somebody's wife. But it ain't nothing like becoming somebody's wife. That means somebody thought you was worthy of becoming their wife. That meant somebody knew they had to take that ass off the market, baby. So if that's the case, ladies, y'all can't be getting jealous. You got to find somebody to take you off the market. So we can treat you as such. <laughs> Cause it's hard out here in these streets, honey. I know y'all trying to throw that ass in a circle to every nigga around town. Hell, I'm tired of thinking that you're throwing ass around here in a circle. And you heard what I said, thinking. I'm tired of thinking, bro oh, girl, that you hoes is out here throwing ass like it's no tomorrow. <clears throat> when y'all friends be getting married out here, congratulate them. And especially if they black, honey, how many black people y'all seen out here getting married? I here raise the whole families together. There ain't many. Ooh, that lemon gonna take me out. Mm. Y'all gotta think about that, man. Y'all really got to think about that. People be out here getting the whole married. And the first thing y'all want to say is a bit out here acting different. You ain't even trying to congratulate this girl. You worry about she acting different. You ain't even sent a gift. You worry about she acting different. Honey, first and foremost, she needs to be acting different. Because she's somebody's wife. Okay. Okay. She's somebody's wife, honey. Only the wives will understand. I get it. Some of y'all probably like this. Girl, you doing too much. I'm somebody's wife. I said what I said. Mm hmm. Be loved in this sauce. Listen, if you swallow it wrong, Lord. It's gonna take you out. You gotta know how to swallow this. For real. It's horrible. You gotta know how to swallow this stuff now. For real. But one of my Instagram friends, she asked me, Do I don't know friends start acting different when you got married? I said, Girl, I lost friends when I got married. What did you talk about? different baby i was different they didn't like that i was different but my thing is if a woman get married and they still do all the shit they was doing before marriage something's wrong i'm not saying you gotta be no nun no saint but i am saying you gotta let go of them childish ways now they be throwing ass in no circle now can't be all down there in Ebo City popping pussy. You just can't be doing that, okay? That's just not becoming, okay? I just wanna let y'all know. But when I had first got married, I didn't even wanna tell nobody. <coughs> Cause I already knew what was coming. Girl, I mean, you can't do this. I mean, you can't do that. They tried to tell me, girl, you done got married. Now you act like a grandma. First and foremost, 
if I really want to be out here popping pussy, I wouldn't have got married. If I really want to be out here carrying on like a fool, I wouldn't have got married. If I really want to be out here hanging with all you single bitches, I wouldn't have got married. I would have stayed single with y'all. But I don't deal with my man all my life. So there was no way. When he asked, I was not going to go get married. I had them building that man since the crack of dawn. I had them building that man since the rebirth of Jesus. Ain't no way in hell. When that man said, you want to go to the courthouse? If I want to finish skip, hop, flip, and jump all the way down to the courthouse with bells on my damn head. And when I left that courthouse, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, I am somebody's wife. I have a husband. I mean, I have a whole husband. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all don't know the feeling until you've been on God married and that man value you. I ain't saying that it's going to be perfect. No, I ain't said no such thing. Y'all be just sitting here listening too fast or something. Because I ain't saying nothing like that. But when the men value you, you'll know. When them men respect you, you'll know. And there ain't nothing like having a good man that you can call my husband. Courtney, you want to go to... Tiago, let me call my husband. Courtney, can we come over to your house? We feel we want to get a drink. Let me call my husband. Let me call my husband. Courtney, can we go over here? Let me call my husband, okay? Okay. Let me call my husband because my husband, you know, he has the last say so. My husband, you know, I'm on my husband, you hoes to death. I've been married four years, and I'm still my husband and you hoes to death. Period. I ain't nobody's girlfriend. You ain't about to treat me like no baby mama. You ain't about to treat me like no, no, no girlfriend. You ain't about to do that. That's what you ain't about to do. You gonna definitely tell me I'm somebody's wife. You gonna definitely call me Mrs. Montgomery. I tell you what. <laughs> call me Courtney. <laughs> Girl. Don't play with me, because I'm telling y'all, that's what it is. <coughs> mm. Jesus. This stuff is spicy. But it's good, y'all. Listen, it's so much meat in here. It make you full. That's why I didn't get no potatoes, because I never get to fill up, finish my own lobster. I was going to finish this lobster today. If I don't get to finish both, I'm going to at least get one down the throat. Look at this. Just why, girl? Why? Why? Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. I want lobster. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. <laughs> My God. I just want y'all to know. <clears throat> don't be hating on y'all friends. It ain't even got it ain't got nothing to do with hating. Don't be trying to downplay that lady marriage. I don't care who she got married to. Don't be trying to downplay that lady marriage. That her husband. <clears throat> That's her husband. So when she, my husband, you mofos to death, y'all need to understand. They got married before God himself. He came right down here and blessed the union. So you need to treat them as such. And when y'all get married, you tell them mother effers the same thing. Treat them as such. Treat me as such. Period. All right.
Jack just trying to go down. The fact that my stomach finna bust and I'm still trying to eat is the devil. I know it. I know it is. But I am determined to eat this lobster. Like I'm getting paid for. I am determined to fill this belly with Eric the lobster. I need some more though. My mouth's so spicy. I can't eat another bite. <clears throat> I be pray, I be literally <clears throat> paying <clears throat> a pretty penny for these lobsters, but they so good. They so good. Oof, y'all. I think I'm done. I can't eat no more. But I tell you what. I'm sure my husband gonna finish this one off. Cause there's a lot of meat in there. I see the meat. This mine was bigger than his though. Excuse me. <clears throat> y'all, I wanna thank y'all so much for tuning in, for listening to me talk, for watching me eat, for celebrating my husband. I really do appreciate y'all. I promise. I appreciate y'all for liking, coming, and subscribing. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That look kind of potent, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all like this video, if y'all didn't agree with me, leave it in the comments. Because, listen, I, I be trying to talk to y'all. I need y'all to leave it in the comments. Spam them comments. Let a girl know that you was actively watching. Let a girl know that you was really trying to, you know, see Eric the Lobster. Go down downtown because he gone. I need y'all to be actively letting me know what's really going on, okay? And I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in to You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It I Ate It. You Thought It I Said It. <laughs> yep, you thought it. Your girl definitely said it. Ate it. <laughs> Period. Definitely tune in for the next video. Let me know what I need to do next, y'all. Because I got some spicy four times noodles. I'm ready to take them down for y'all. I don't know if I'm going to die during the process, but either way I go, I'm going to do anything for y'all, period. So let me know what y'all think I need to do, because I'm on it, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in.